Hey guys, and here it is, the all-new Touch Bar MacBook Pro in space gray, 15-inch in this case, with an all-glass OLED strip that changes based on content. Based on the app that you're using, it has different keys there. It's thinner and lighter, and now available in space gray. And like every generation before, it's gotten thinner and thinner and lighter and lost some of its ports. We'll talk about that, something you might not like about it, but this is really, really nice, these features based on app functionality here. 2016, and before that, there was the 2012 body shape, and then the 2008, 2009 body shape, Unibody MacBook Pro, and the first aluminum MacBook Pro, 2006. And now we're borrowing design elements from the 12 inch MacBook, also in space gray, same color, uh, not quite as thin yet. And, but let's do the unboxing. Just shipped, ordered it on the date came out. The box is slightly smaller than the Retina MacBook Pro. Here, it immediately shows off that touch bar strip in all its beautiful colors. OLED. Yes, here it is. Slightly lighter. And I ordered it in space gray just to change it up a little bit. Yep, it is slightly lighter. Not a whole lot on the 15 inch model though. And not a whole lot smaller and thinner either. A little bit, but it's not as huge as you think. But the trackpad is humongous. And as soon as you open it up, the computer starts up. That's also a new feature. And you get to play immediately with the touch bar. Standard keys here for brightness and sound and so forth. Ships with a long USB-C cable. Everything is USB-C here right now. Uh, the adapter, the power adapter, 85 watts is the same, but loses the extension cord. You can buy that separately. You'll need a lot of converters and connectors and adapters here. Use Thunderbolt 3 to 2. USB-C to gigabit Ethernet adapter, and you'll need quite a few of these USB-C to regular USB 3.0 adapters. USB-C is, by the way, 3.1. And... Again, going back to that touch bar, it's so inviting to play around with that. You have to reach over the keyboard here. Again, another close look, and we can see here the fingerprint ID. You can use your fingerprint to unlock the computer and even do Apple Pay purchases. To unlock, that's pretty cool. You don't have to type in your computer password. And setup is a breeze, and you can set up multiple fingers. And here compared to, so it lost the function keys, the Retina MacBook Pro has those here, the hard, regular keys, no longer, no longer. And it's breaking a tradition that goes back to all the other MacBook Pros and PowerBooks before that and most other computers. This is the first computer introducing this new design. We'll see if it takes off. Still a big fan of the regular Retina MacBook Pro, which is still available in Apple stores as we speak. And here, a closer look at those USB-C connectors. They're very tight. Uh, very good connectors. You can put it in any uh, direction you want. And here are... That's where the sound comes out and ventilation comes out. Dissipating the heat. Uh, processors are more powerful. Make less heat. There's also another heat dissipating strip here. Uh, more performance, less heat. It's the... Skylake chipset. We'll see how that changes in the future. And we lost a lot of ports if you look at that. No more Firewire, of course, but not even Thunderbolt 3. Uh, no regular USB. No mini display ports either. No card readers. No HDMI to TV. You'll need dongles and dongles and so forth. And hopefully we'll have some uh, docks coming up. They're already in the works from what I've seen. But be prepared here. Thunderbolt 3. We got Ethernet. So a lot of dangling going on here, but doable. Uh, here, website preview changes immediately if you're on, on the web. Gives you tabs here, what pages you have open. Very useful. Will we use it all the time? Good question. Let's do a quick speed test here. Um, so at first, touch by Mac shuts down faster than 2015 Retina MacBook Pro. Um, and it seems to come up faster as well. I did a couple of tests, it's pretty close, but in theory, uh, an even faster P2 
PCIe flash storage. In this case though, it didn't win. Keyboard. It's louder, thinner, but not quite as shallow as the 12 inch MacBook. A little typing here. Less mistakes, but it's louder. If you're in a quiet room, people can hear it. Didn't think about that. And here we're applying some filters here in photos, right? So you didn't have to take the mouse and kind of click on things. You can just swipe. This is a really cool feature, gotta tell you. For creatives and so forth, this is a perfect machine. Here we're going back to what I showed before, font colors. You can see them clearly, you don't have to, you can let go of the trackpad or the mouse if you're using it. But here, mini display port to display port on high-end monitors, on 4K monitors, no longer available because this guy here does not output a video signal. So all the folks who in the last couple of years bought these new 4K monitors, mini display port uh, to display port, in 4K and 60 Hertz, no more. That's my big gripe. Don't buy it until that changes. What I, that's what I would say. Here, look how huge the trackpad is. That's a Samsung S6. And here, again, a closer look on how things changed. This is my quick review, something to think about, but hey, I'm impressed. Tech reviews out, and I'll put all the links to adapters and dongles and so forth in the description below. Tech reviews out.